Good morning, everybody. What a glorious, glorious day. Look at that. There's just one little cloud over there. Another little cloud just there. And a few little clouds over there. What a lovely day. And there's Mr. and Mrs. Fish down there doing a bit of sun baking. Look at them together. It's marvellous. Took years for Mr. Fish to find himself a fish he could get on with. Hey, there's the choppy dogs. Okay, what's this video about? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yes, a subscriber, a long time subscriber, I would add, is um, wondering how to hook, how I hook my uh, pips up to the computer. Now, as we start, I would like to say that this video is about to be outdated already in a few weeks' time, okay? And I'll take his inside and show you the uh, new small industrial computer I've got ordered for in the shed, okay? But basically, you grab the uh, communications cable there, plug it into the bottom of the unit, Run it all the way along the wall. There's quite a few of them in, in behind there. And then it's plugged in to this particular part right here. Okay. And then that's plugged in to the USB port on the computer. It's actually plugged into the USB 3 port. Okay. And coming off the computer, I've got this USB hub, which I've got the wireless antenna plugged into, um, a hard drive, because this is a computer, this is where it all happens. This is a little computer that does all the hard work of uh, doing the programming and testing. Okay, so we'll go in the shed and I'll show you what is being replaced for in here. Uh, we'll, in the shed. We'll go in the house and show you which computer I've just bought to replace all this with. Uh, while well, I'm in here you'll also notice that I've uh, shifted everything from this particular spot here. Why? Because I'm going to put some batteries on the ground there and hook up a test rig just here so we can test all the 12 and 24 volt units and make sure they work right with all the options we have in our programming. Uh, so that's another project that's happening oh yeah I have a lot going on it I never stop in this house I tell you I worked harder now than I ever did when I was uh, working for a living retirement hey uh, yeah okay let's go inside I'm going inside now choppy you want to come in back inside or are you just going to sit there because you're sort of blocking the way. Hop up. In you go. I'll get your treat. Yeah, I'll get your treat. Hang on a minute. Just hang on a minute. There you go, mate. Alright, uh, oh, this arrived today. The new Midnight Classic. I absolutely love this new book. It's in large print. So old people with bad eyesight can read it. It's um, brilliant. Got excellent pictures. Love the big white arrows. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it shows a lot on how to hook the units up. I'm also charging batteries right now, but um, you've all seen what new Midnight Classics looks like. Uh, anyway, let's go in the office for a minute. Hey, Siggy. Good morning, Siggy. She's up on the wall there. Her painting never changes. Uh, okay. Let me just uh, shut some of this down. 
There we go. Uh, let me shut this all down. Because none of us want to know where I live. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Okay, I'll just go to the website for a second. Hang on. <sighs> okay, now this is on AliExpress. And I will put this link in the comments. Now, it's not cheap, people. Okay, but basically, because we're doing uh, all the programming out there, and it's sometimes has quite a few applications running, all right, we're going to select the 8 gigabyte RAM and the 256 uh, gigabyte SSD and we're going to select the Intel Core i5 processor okay and that's what it cost me and I've already bought this unit I'm not going to buy it again for you but I've already bought this unit today so hopefully that will be here let's uh, have a quick look down the page you see they make all different models of this unit the uh, one I just purchased of course looks like that on the back and on the front it's got another on the back it's got all the USB 3 four of them it's got two LAN ports for the classics HDMI VGA it'll run off 12 volt DC as you can see and down the bottom there is four three uh, two three two ports okay and on the front of it it's uh, got USB 2 outlets and the power switch um, and it comes with all these options as the RAMs uh, the, the SD cards and all that sort of stuff okay basically you can have a look at this for yourselves I will put the link in the comments section and I will pin it to the top all right uh, that's what it looks like inside uh, outside case there's a better look at what it looks like inside okay it comes with a power sort of plug of your country oh there's a better picture of the ports look at that okay and basically when it gets here I have to assemble it and it comes with the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, some cables, um, a desk bracket if you put it on a desk which I won't be, a mouse pad, the drivers of course I don't know why they put free there probably to make it look good. Oh it comes with free drivers, one would hope it comes with drivers. Um, and Uh, HDMI cables and, and then it's got optional accessories which I never purchased any optional accessories that's all the certs and there's a look at their factory look at them happy little workers in there slaving away making lovely gear all right so anyway that's what we got there it's um, a nice little computer I will put that link as I said in the uh, comments section I will pin it right to the top so um, all those that are interested can go and have a look um, the batteries today we'll have a quick look at that we're at 100% already the time's 11.51 uh, there's the weather absolutely beautiful um, the barometric pressure's falling as you can see by those clouds coming in off the coast um, oh, what time this morning did I get full I'm looking for seven amps seven amps there we go seven amps so we were full at about 11.04 to 11.09 this morning we got full so that's pretty good that's pretty good all right um, that's just an update video you know uh, of the systems uh, how it's currently wired for the communications and 
um, this computer here. This is gonna, this is gonna just be a, a one job, you know. This will do everything. I don't need all that other shit on the wall. Um, this has just got everything in on it. You need it's fanless. Um, the whole case is a heat sink, um, and it's industrial, so it should be good. It should be good. It's uh, pricey, but. <laughs> Let's put it this way, by the time you buy a bricks or a knock, and then the adapters and everything else to, to get it to work, you're probably um, cheaper just go on this option. Um, and this, yeah, we never ever knew this was around when we first started to do it, but it is definitely the answer to everything. All, all, all the problems would look a lot, not, a lot neater in there once I've got this up. Okay, YouTube, that's it. Um, I hope this video helps some of you, and, and I hope the rest of you find it at least a little bit interesting. Keep safe. Bye for now.